guys that ran the same class as the Packard uh, was a guy by the name of Herman Mosier. And Herman um, had a lot of fame because he drove the uh, Ram Chargers Candy Matic car. Wow. And he was an engineer at Chrysler. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, Herman had a 53 Dodge with a little 241 inch red ram in it. Uh -huh. And he played around when he wasn't driving the Ram Chargers car with that. Well, we ran the same class, and I just spanked his ass all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we got yeah. to be very good friends. Well, in 64, when they debuted the uh, Hemi and the super stock cars. Okay. They did that at Detroit Dragway and they just demolished some of the existing records. I mean, it, it was unbelievable how fast those cars were compared to everything else that was out there. Well, I started in on Herman. Man, Herman, you got to find a way to find somebody up there and get me one of those engines, you know? Okay. So I said, well, I'll ask. It uh, doesn't hurt to ask. So, uh, he talked to a guy who was the uh, head of the drag racing program. His name was Bob Cahill, who's alive to this day. He's in his 90s. But what we will do, if you can find a uh, dealer that will help you get a car, we'll supply all the parts for the thing. Wow. I looked for the nearest Plymouth dealer, which was George P. Maloney Motor Company in Canton, Walked in, sat down, talked to the guy's son. He got his dad in there in about an hour and a half. I went out of there with a car order for a brand new Plymouth Superstocker. And wow. true to their word, why Chrysler provided parts and uh, Maloney's provided the car. The day after Christmas. In fact, Maxwell called Dave up. Christmas Eve, and, and Maxwell he said, is Dick Maxwell. Dick, Dick Maxwell, okay. And, uh, Make that clear. Yeah, the well, Dick yeah. So. What's <laughs> different with those cars? I mean, with the is this the ones with the lightweight aluminum fenders or the lightweight steel fenders? Which we, which we, it, the which we yeah. <laughs> is the it? Was it like that though? Mm -hmm. You know, the '65 cars were dipped steel sheet metal. Okay. And then they had some altered wheelbase cars. Uh huh. And we ended up actually having both. The original car that Maloney uh, got for me was a uh, steel super stock car, and uh, the uh, we had that for several years. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the middle of that, the match racing thing was really starting up, and they had all of the parts that were left over to build. Uh, one Plymouth that hadn't got built when they did the altered cars. Okay. And Maxwell gave me all of the pieces, and we bought a wrecked super stock car from Kentucky and essentially built our own altered wheelbase car. So, how many were built actually? Boy, you're going to embarrass me when I say eight. Eight were built, and okay. I think we had the ninth. Well, they have a list of when the super stocks were given out. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Actually, we got ours. I think we got the second car. Second that was car, actually yeah. Actually, complete. Okay. And the reason for that was that they knew that we were going to Arizona. Uh -huh. We got the thing Christmas vacation, and had to be in California at the end of January. So <laughs> we uh, we really hustled. And he'd never, you know, had never done anything with a Hemi. He had always been Chevy. Uh huh. And. It was so funny, now we look back at it, and he had the Hemi engine laid out on a sheet. All the pieces, you know. And everything, <laughs> everything labeled so he knew yeah. what it went back to <laughs> him. It was like you were telling me that one time was that, um, a lot of people tell me that they had like band seats in it, and you were telling me they really were what, boat seats? They were boat seats, they were what they called Bostrom seats. Okay. And you, to this day, if you look at a boating catalog, you uh -huh. can't get the seat brackets. They were special and made of aluminum, but you can still get the seats to this day. So they actually were boat seats. Though. Yeah. Because like I said, I had one guy tell me, oh, they were van seats. And I'm like, I don't think they were. I thought they were actually boat seats and stuff. Yeah. But it's back to these so-called ones that, you know. Oh, yeah, every, everybody knows. Yeah. You know, I mean, this so right in the middle of it. Mr. Maxwell from Chrysler called uh -huh. up and said, uh, we've uh, 
had an opening here in our department. How would you like to come and work in a race group? Wow. And it's like, man, I don't know. <laughs> how, can I, how, can I, how can I do this? I can wow. remember the phone call because he was sitting at the little gossip bench where we had the phone, 